Hey, teacherpreneurs. Are you feeling a little bit bummed out like me? You've been working hard on your TPT store and your products aren't selling and maybe your views are going down because of search algorithm changes. Hmm. And maybe you've been chatting with your friend, Sarah, Sarah, not her real name. I love you, Sarah. Um, and you've been coaching her for the last little bit. And last month, her store sold hundreds of dollars more than you did. Uh, and on the inside, you're like, I'm working so hard and it's not paying off. I mean, I'm happy for her, um, but you're starting to feel a little bit discouraged. Yeah, me too. I'm there with you. Um, so I'm going to show you how I look at my TPT data to try to make data informed decisions without paying someone else to do it and using free tools. Check this out. Okay, so this is my TPT store. And if I go into my dashboard here, um, here are my earnings. I wanna look up last month. There's no quick button in here. So I'm just gonna click on custom range. I'm gonna go from October 1st to October 31st and let's hit apply. Okay, so I'm thrilled. I Don't get me wrong. I am blessed and thrilled and thankful that I'm making like $1,700 a month, four figures a month. Um, but having said that, on the inside, it kind of hurts because, you know, I'm not doing as well as I did last year and I'm hoping to constantly improve. Uh, and so I want to, I, I, this is my baby. I love it. I want to try to improve it. So I want to try to figure out how things are going. TPT, if you've ever been in this dashboard section, um, they show you a conversion rate. Uh, and I'm just going to narrow this down to just my reading bundle product. Oops, sorry there. All right, so reading bun, I think it's called a mega bundle, mega bundle. There we go. So let's just look at this one product here. Let's simplify the data. Just look at last year. So the problem with this data is I can only see like it based on daily, like a 25% conversion rate that day based on page views and sales, right? It doesn't tell me by week, like a week by week, how am I doing? Um, but something to TPT's credit that they've done all time is I feel like this used to be monthly, daily, I don't know, but monthly I can see, okay, in October, I did 3% uh, conversion rate for this product. So 3% of the people who looked at the page, product page bought it. And then in October of last year, um, it was 11%, right, of that year. I think there's another year here. 2% here. This change is probably because I started running ads on this product. So I probably got a lot more views that people didn't buy, but I sold a lot more too. That's another conversation. Um, so basically what I want to show you is what I do. Um, my friend Sarah was talking about your data playbook. I've never heard about them, but she said some of the TPT sellers that she chats with, one of them paid four figures. They look like lovely people. I'm not affiliated with them at all. And I'm super jealous of your product, guys. This looks awesome. They basically take TPT data and put it into a, a usable way for them. Um, and I think that's fantastic. They're combining it with coaching and training. These people are doing it right. I love it. Um, but I think, I think we can do it for free. And so one of the things that Sarah said to me was like, okay, well, her motto is, you know, like take something she's already doing and then maybe make a product out of that. And so one of the things that I already do is, for a long time now, for two years, I've been collecting my own data and then basically trying to figure out which products are selling, which ones aren't, and using that to make data-informed decisions. So I'm going to show you how I collect my data. If you think having, this is Google Data Studio, by the way, it's free. Um, if you want me to show you how to make this, like this channel and leave a comment below to let me know that you're interested. This is all free. Um, and if there's enough interest, I'll make you a tutorial on how I set this up in Google Data Studio. I won't lie, it's technical. Um, when I told Sarah this, she said, well, people who are doing TPT and making some sales and doing it kind of as, as a second living or they're starting to have success, they're gonna want this information. They'll figure out a way to make it happen. Um, and the alternative is paying four figures. Um, I'll make a tutorial for this um, and it's free and I'll show you how I use it, but it's not up to me, it's actually up to you. If you want this kind of stuff, you've got to collect the data. And what I mean by that is you've got to go into your TPT page, go to my statistics, click download to Excel. It'll download your product stats. I'm just going to save it here. All right. And then you need to go to 
Um, so I've created a Google Sheet. Just create a Google Sheet like this. You need to, the only thing that you need to add at the top is date, right? And so basically, as you can see, I've been collecting, like if I go up to the top, January 2020, right? That's February, March, April. So I've been doing this for a long time. Uh, so I have some data to play with. Obviously, you're starting today. All you do is you go, you click, I click on just add one row. I open up the product stats in Excel. Um, anywhere it says star, 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 you've got to actually expand the columns. Otherwise, it won't copy over. So I'm just going to make everything really big. Oh, that did not work the way I thought it would. Um, and then over here, earnings. So those are the only two areas that you have to make sure that you get the whole thing for. Um, otherwise, they'll get truncated. And then all I do is I go Control A, Control C to copy. I go into my Google Data or Google Sheets. I go Control V to paste it in. There it is. Uh, so as you can see, the column, the the row headings are exactly the same. I just added a date one up there, and today's date I'm going to add as 2022-11-02, and then I just copy that and I go all the way to the bottom and I paste that in. And then the last thing I do here is I delete this row because we don't need this title row because we have it at the top. So I collect that data and then I've created a Google Data Studio page here and I can see how my products are doing. And so this is last week and I can see my top selling product was my Reading Mega Bundle. And basically it had a conversion rate of 1.7%. I can't see this information. This is again my reading bundle. If I go to October, um, not this week, but if I go to custom range last week, what's the time period? 23rd to the 29th. Okay, so if I go to the 23rd to the 29th and I hit apply, I can see overall I got 2%, right? Which should match here. Yeah, 1.7 is 2% here. But here, I can very quickly compare. Okay, well, in my top five products here, this care, this Making Connections Reading Bundle, I only made 10 bucks, but I had a 50% conversion rate here. So if I get more traffic here, maybe I can sell more. Or one of the other things that I can do is I can click on conversion dollars per, per um, a conversion rate instead of a percent sold because we all know different products have different prices. So if you have a really expensive product and you have uh, a few page views, um, but each of those page views leads to like a lot of sales or like a lot of money for you, then maybe that's the product that you want to try to promote. Um, so we're going to wait for Google to sort of think things through here. There's a lot of data. I think you can pay Google for, okay, anyways. Uh, so I can see here for every page view that I had here, I had five dollars forty cents. I don't know how to help with that. Sorry, here Google. Are other things you can That's try. my Google Home. So I can see here I had two page views for this Making Connections reading bundle. Um, so basically, every time a person viewed it, it was worth five dollars forty cents to me, right? Compare that with my reading bundle. This is product number forty-five for me, right? Every time I had two hundred thirty-one page views, so basically fifty cents a page view. So in theory, if I send more qualified traffic to that Making Connections bundle, maybe that'll make more sales. So this is how I sort of look at how my products are doing, and I can do this. Um, the nice thing about Google Data Studio is like, oh, I want to very quickly look at last month. Okay, boom, last month. Right? I'm not manually entering in dates. I can see last month my top earning product was my reading comprehension mega bundles. If I want to see what sold the most, right? If I sort it by units sold, I can see like, oh yeah, hey, collaborations, my six C's were up next, right? Um, if I want to see which one had the best conversion rate, I can click on that. And so this, here are some products. One person viewed it and they bought it right away. They were interested in that. And so this, I just have to figure out how to get it in front of the right people, right? That's data-based decision-making. I love this idea of what your data playbook is doing. I love it. They found a solution um, that teachers need, that teacherpreneurs need. But for me, this has to come back to the students. And one of the things that I believe, so I made, um, is seot.ca. Um, I, I think that 
if we give students a framework on how to succeed, like if we become teacherpreneurs and we struggle through trying to make our store work, right? This is our authentic 21st century learning task, right? I think that'll make us better teachers because then we can share our life experiences with our students. Yeah, you're not getting this concept yet, but don't give up. Like like when I was trying to do this, like like I tried selling this, that didn't work. I tried selling that, that didn't work. I tried doing this and then I tried doing that, right? Maybe studying just by reading this textbook over and over again, maybe that's not working for you. Maybe you need to try something else. And so basically for goal setting, I just have like strategies, effort, optimizing, and tinkering as a process to try to increase sales, right? And so from a teaching perspective, this comes under optimize. We as teachers, we're looking at the data and we're trying to optimize what we do to improve sales. Right. And so then the, the connection in the classroom is, OK, well, let's look at how you're doing. Let's look at your last few test marks. Right. What are you doing that isn't working? What are you doing that is working? Let's do more of what's working. Right. And so by becoming teacherpreneurs, we become better teachers. OK, if you think this is useful, if you would like me to make a tutorial on how to make this free Google Data Studio page, please like the channel or subscribe and please leave a comment on this video so I know there's interest because like you, we're trying a lot of things on TPT. Does this work? Does that work? And we're throwing everything on the wall to see if it sticks. If there's no interest in this, I can't devote the time to make this product. I've got to move on. Okay. So if you like this, want to see a tutorial on how I make this Google Data Studio, leave a comment and uh, we'll see you next time. Good luck with your TPT sales. Bye-bye now.